Don't be afraid to target tog inshore in the spring on your kayak. Let's get started. Early season, safety is a number one priority. Actually, all the time, safety is a number one priority, but mostly in your early season due to the colder water temperatures. Always wear PFD on a kayak. Uh, dress warm. Have, you know, keep your cell phone handy in case it's an emergency. Aside from my PFD, what I like to do is wear a, a set of boots on my feet, waterproof boots that makes kayaking and launching my kayak a lot easier in these conditions. You don't want to get your feet wet because if you have cold feet, a day in the water is very miserable, especially this time of the year. Typically with blackfish, the kind of spots you want to try in the spring would be around structure, pilings, uh, jetties. You know, deeper in the bay is a little better because you have warmer waters. Uh, 50 degrees is about that magic water temperature mark. Once it hits that, you're pretty much good to go. So when I'm on a kayak, typically I like to use a rod with a short butt with a, a longer top section. Typically six and a half to seven feet, something I can swing around the front of the kayak if the fish decides to run that, that way. Um, right now I'm using a rod that's, that could, you know, uh, I can use like a half ounce jig, a three quarters ounce jig. Remember, we're going light here. We're trying to go the lightest as possible to feel those bites and get those hits from those picky tog. My ideal rod this time of the year, especially for targeting tog on the kayak, is this light St. Croix Legend tournament rod. Uh, this is a six foot eight rod, so it falls between six and a half feet and seven feet. What I'm doing is using small blackfish jigs. This is a half ounce jig tied direct to 30 pound weighted material. It's about a three, four foot section. Uh, usually I use heavier weighted when fishing for blackfish, but I'm trying to really scale down to get those picky fish to hit a little easier. Also, I'm connecting to my 10 pound braid off my reel with a uni to uni knot. Keep it really light, keep it really simple, and you're gonna get those hits. There's a array of different baits that you could use in the springtime for targeting blackfish. Green crabs, sandworms, clams are another one. So this time of the year, the fish can be really finicky. So I do like to use smaller pieces of crab for blackfish. So I'll start by trimming the claws off. Then I'll take the crab, I'll cut it right in half. And what I'll do is, I'll take the piece like this, small little piece as you could see, pop the top shell off, throw that away, and I'll use a piece about that big for blackfish this time of the year. My method for hooking a crab like this on a small jig is to go in one leg hole and out another one, just like that. The crab's gonna stay on the best possible way like this. When I approach structure, I like to work all the nooks and crannies and pilings of it too, to search out for these fish. Remember, they're hiding in the structure. You have to find them, you have to drop your jig on them prodding around these tight quarters is the way to catch fish and use the kayak to your advantage. You have uh, hands-free use with the Hobie kayak. You can use the foot pedals and, you know, maneuver in and out of these little structures. Um, it gives you a lot of advantage when going for blackfish in these tight quarters. One of the keys to being successful this time of year while blackfishing is to keep your jig very stationary. And a tool that will help you do that is an anchor. So it is important to anchor up when blackfishing off the kayak. In the spring, these fish are really lethargic. Cold water temperatures doesn't have them feeding aggressively, so you really have to wait on these bites. You're gonna feel small, small taps that almost feel like a small bagel bite, but in uh, reality, they actually are larger blackfish hitting it, and the key is to be patient, give them that bait, and wait for that bigger hit to come and set the hook on them. When it comes to netting a fish on a kayak, having a short handle floating net is ideal. Makes the job a lot easier. If you have any additional questions about fishing from a kayak, email me at mbroderick at thefisherman.com.